Well, hello. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Carolyn. For those of you who are new, it's great to meet you. And for those of you who are coming back, it's good to see you. So I am very sorry that I'm not there in person, but sometimes circumstances just work out this way. So for this week, all my classes will be virtual, which means you do not have to be in class this week to do the assignments. So the good thing about this little video that you're having to watch is you get to see this part of my face because I'm here to tell you that when I come back next week, you're not going to see this part of my face because I'm a big believer in COVID. I've got a husband who has some medical conditions, so I wear a mask all the time. And I believe that the safest course for us, in addition to social distancing inside, is wearing a mask. The only time that you shouldn't be wearing a mask is when you're in a room by yourself with the door closed. So because of that reason, my particular policy in my classes is you cannot attend without wearing a mask. And I know that the college is recommending masks, they're not requiring them, but I believe we all have the right to be safe in our workplace and in class and if that means that we all need to wear a mask then we all need to wear a mask if for some reason you cannot wear a mask or you have some issue with it please reach out and email me and we will come up with an alternative way for you to take the class but if you are willing to wear a mask and social distance then I look forward to seeing you next week one more thing you're going to find your class assignments on the Moodle page. And the other thing you're going to find on the Moodle page is my syllabus. And I recommend you take a look at that. Um, there's also a course outline. The syllabus lays out points. It lays out how I grade. It lays out when you can expect feedback from me. It gives you multiple ways to get a hold of me, including my cell phone. And yes, if you need to text, if you don't like to pick up that phone and call, you can do that. And the other thing that it does is it lays out my late work policy and my attendance policy, which you need to know, especially if for some reason you're going to miss a class or a test, you need to figure out how to properly let me know that. So with that said, I think that's all I needed to get out. And I appreciate you guys dealing with this. And I think that Jay and Jim are probably going to talk to you at some point today about the sanitizing policy. But just real quick, obviously, when you leave an area, you need to sanitize it. And when you are using equipment, when you're done with that equipment, you need to sanitize it. There are some things that will sanitize, some things that you'll sanitize. But I highly recommend that when you go to sit down at the, in the classroom, that you sanitize. Even if it has been sanitized, I would re-sanitize with one of the little alcohol wipes, the keyboard, and the mouse just to be safe and and also I think we're gonna try to encourage you guys to get your own earbuds or headphones to use in the classroom because headphones are so close to your face that I think it would be the safest if you guys had your own so I highly suggest that this week maybe you look for a cheap pair of those to use when you're editing okay I'll see ya